Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to delete data from Firebase real-time database. This is the last part of the CRUD series, so make sure that you watch all the previous videos as well. So open the project. As of now, we have created the data, read the data and updated the data in the database. And now we will delete the existing data in the admin module. Let me give you a quick overview. This is our client module that consists of read data and this is our admin module which consists of upload, update and now delete. It is super duper easy to perform so let's create it. In part 1 we have already given the colors, themes, view winding. So now in the prerequisite all we have to do is to add a background image. So let me quickly copy paste it. And then, then as we are creating delete feature, so we will require delete activity. So let me quickly create it. And then. Now, as I said in previous video, we will create a delete button beside the update button. So to do that, go to activity main.xml. I'll create a similar button over here by copy pasting it. And then I'll change the text. ID. and other attributes. And then, then go to activity delete.xml Here we will create an edit text and a button. That's it. So basically, edit text will take the vehicle number from admin and according to that vehicle number, the data will be deleted. Simple, right? So let me quickly create it. And done. See, two linear layout. Then inside it, there is an edit text whose ID is delete vehicle number. And then below that, a button whose ID is delete button. And that's it. Now we will set on click listener on delete button that is present in activity main. So for that, go to main activity. I'll copy paste it. Then change the button name. And it will redirect the user from main activity to delete activity. Simple, right? And that's it. Now let's set up delete feature. So go to delete activity. First, let me quickly set up binding. And then, then I will declare database reference. And done. Now, we will create a delete data function that will basically going to delete the data from the database. So, let me quickly write it.
and done. See, as we will take the vehicle number from user, hence we have kept the parameter as vehicle number. Then inside it, we have initialized database reference as Firebase database dot get instance dot get reference as vehicle information. As I always say, make sure the path name is correct. Then we will reach where the data is and remove it. So it goes like database reference, of course that is a vehicle information. And then inside it, there is a child which is basically a vehicle number, okay? And then using the remove value method, it removes the data from the database. So the logic goes like, user will give the vehicle number that needs to be deleted and then it will remove that particular vehicle number child which ultimately going to remove all the other data present inside it. Data such as owner name, vehicle brand and vehicle RTO. Then we have used two methods that is add on success listener and add on failure listener. So if the data is successfully deleted, then first it will clear the edit text and then it will throw a toast as deleted. Else, if data is not deleted successfully, then in that case, it will throw a toast as unable to delete. And that's it. Now we will call delete data function inside the delete button. So inside the on create, write binding dot delete button dot set on click listener. And then inside it, we will take the vehicle number from user through edit text. So to do that, write well vehicle number is equal to binding dot delete vehicle number dot text dot string. The vehicle number given by the user is stored inside the vehicle number variable. Then next, we will apply a simple logic to avoid null values. So if Vehicle number is not empty, means something is present in edit text. Then simply call the delete data method and inside it pass the argument as vehicle number variable. Else, through a toast as Please enter vehicle number. And that's it. Simple, right? So we are done with the coding. Now let's run the app. Make sure you select admin module and then run. See, this is how it looks. I'll click on delete button. And here we are. So we already have a data stored in the database, hence I'll simply write the same vehicle number over here. Then I click on delete button and see the data is successfully deleted. As there was no other data present, hence the entire database shows as null, but it only deletes the specified child value, not the entire database. Okay. This way you can easily delete any data from the database. Also, for more updates, you can follow us on Instagram or join our Telegram group for background images. Link in the description box. So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video.